Boxing King Media in association with Box Show. Shannon Ryan, uh, as I just said to you off camera, I'm so used to seeing you at boxer shows, so it's just getting used to seeing you on a matchroom show. How does it feel to have your first press conference out the way and about to make your matchroom debut? Yeah, it feels a little bit different, a bit similar, but different. Um, but I'm excited to be here and grateful for the opportunity. We're going to start off with your curls, because you don't normally have curls. What's, what's inspired the curls today? No, I'm sure. Well, press conference I do, and then the way in I normally have my straight hair and then I braid it. I can't remember. I think the last time I saw you, you might have been on a boat. Was it? Well, then, it then it was slick back, yeah. yeah. So this Saturday you've got, uh, it's not an easy first fight, you know, you're fighting an experienced fighter who's had 10 rounders before. So what's the thought process behind kind of just jumping in straight away? Yeah, this is my fifth fight and each fight we want to step up. She's coming from the weight below, she has an EBU title, five wins, one loss, one draw. So definitely a step up and it'll get me, uh, put, it will put me in good stead moving forward. Um, but the reason for this is we're looking to get another eight rounder after this and then push on for the titles. So we have to step up. Uh, and when you say titles, uh, uh, have you got any, any title in mind? Because we've seen the British title uh, recently consisted from women's boxing. Have you got anything in mind or any opponent? Yeah, no, nothing in mind at the moment, um, just what the team um, decide with, with Matram as well. And then we'll see what's available and um, go for it when the, when the opponent and the challenge is there. I'm trying to think, um, I, I never got a chance to speak to you when you was announced as a Matram fighter. Uh, just quickly, just tell me what, what led to the decision in you leaving Boxer and uh, joining Eddie at Matram. Yeah, so with Boxer, I was fight by fight, there was no contract. Um, and then Eddie um, provided a, a contract and um, yeah, I was ready for that time to have a promoter back my career and um, Eddie Hearn and Matram and Dazona are there to do that now. Is anything going to top fighting on that all women's card that you fought on uh, last year? That was that was spectacular, um, yet to top that but that was a magnificent night. And your, your opponent, is there anything that you've got to look out for and how good is she because I'm, I'm just looking on boxing, like I'm not seeing it but I've seen that she's gone the distance and the biggest thing that stands out to me is she's done 10 rounds which, which you haven't. Yeah, she um, she switches a little bit, and just her right hand kind kind of comes over quite a lot. Um, other than that, it should be a, it should be an easy night. And how's things outside boxing? Are you still working at O2, or have you just packed up and doing boxing full time now? Yeah, no, I box full time now. I left there last April, 2022. Anything else you want to share with us? You're very short with the answers to anything else you want to share with us, Shannon? Um, no, just thanks to everyone for supporting all my sponsors and uh, yeah, my team for for getting me here. Stuff. Any particular fight you're looking forward to in the women's boxing? Obviously, you got Ellie Scott and he fighting for a world title. How do you think that fight's going to go? Oh, yeah, brilliant. I think Ellie's going to get that title. She worked so, so hard. Um, also, looking forward to the Nina Hughes fight. Again, I was sparring her in camp when she was meant to have Shannon Courtney. And obviously, the opponent changed, so they changed sparring partners. But yeah, uh, Nina Hughes is on fire, and I can't wait to watch her um, retain her belt. Shannon Ryan, unless you've got anything else to add, uh, we're, we're done. No, thank you very much. Thank you.